So what up y'all, this is uh, Nick again, and um, back for another episode of Stealth Camping. So if you watch my car camping, I went to the bridge by the bell back this way. And uh, I had some free time, so I went and checked it out, and it's all underwater. So now, as you can see, I got my backpack loaded up. I'm gonna eat me a cliff bar. And then I'm gonna start wait, making my way down where that haul road was that you seen that was dug up. And I plan to do a stealth camp this uh, today. So yeah, come along for the ride and I'll catch on the next clip. Let's catch that sun. Beautiful. Uh oh, hope everybody's all right. Back at the big rodeo, rotary ball. On where we go. So right now I'm on the embankment of the railroad tracks facing Capitol Park and the Capitol. If I could find the right two trees, you know, like this way, semi-level, I'd hang it up here because there's less chance of people coming up here. But I still the the search continues for some trees that suit me. Good y'all, I was worried that the river was up up. I was going to bring my fishing pole, but as it is, I'm burning daylight. And I got to start attempting to set up camp because I've only set this hammock up once and about 40 miles per hour wind. And it ended up being a failed like a uh, walk around video. So this may be an impromptu walk around video, but I'll probably be somewhere in there because it's nice and thick. But yeah, let me let me keep trudging on. Well, this a little bit of suckage y'all. I thought with the high winds that we have, the mosquitoes would be gone, but I just got bit by one. So no sleeping with the uh, with the thing open tonight. That kind of sucks, but whatever. I don't know what this is. Uh, something old. I'm just trying to find the right set of trees. They all come together. I think I found it. It's oceanfront property, as you can see the river. It's rising right now, but I doubt it'll make that much. Hopefully not. If not, I gotta walk through some water. But I got a buffer between the road, okay? And then I got a bunch of brush and buffer between like the little road that comes near this pond where people fish. So I think this is a good spot from this tree. To this tree. I'm gonna have to trim a couple little things, but that ain't no biggie. But let me get to doing it because the mosquitoes are getting out in full force, and I don't feel like donating blood. So far, one of the downfalls to this Haven XL hammock tent is it takes up a good bit of my backpack. Watch, I'll show you my food, my supper for tonight, some Korean barbecue noodles. Um, see, there's my pillow, there's the pad. And there's the hammock itself, and look. Took up a good bit of my pack, you know? But let me get to getting it up. <clears throat> so like with most hammocks, you want to put it above your head, so. One strap there. Now for the tent. I mean the hammock, whatever the hell you want to call it. Let's see, I think I'm going to go about three up maybe two down let's see or three down and I got the um, rain fly already on it so operation don't let it hit the ground I 
I might have to lift it up, yeah. What y'all think about the uh, digital camo? I think it looks pretty neat. So here's what keeps this um, hammock open. They have these two little aluminum bars, watch. Let me flip this over. Operation keep the mosquitoes out. I'm already failing. They have these little pockets. Whoa, go right there. I'm a little fumbly, but I'm like that in my everyday life, y'all. So don't think it's just this uh, hammock. bad boy all right there's one bar checky checky I'm gonna turn y'all off y'all seen one bar don't need to see two this y'all the heavy ass sleeping pad is what helps give it structure besides the bars and uh if i end up using this a bunch and which i plan on doing because i like to hammock camp in the summertime i might end up splurging and get me the non-insulated pad because uh i weren't sleeping on my nemo insulated tensor you just don't need insulated in summertime you just need something to keep you off the ground and I'm lazy, I bought the pump that goes with it and it's a deflator. So uh, let's, the only thing, another little knock on this, it has a crappy valve, like, so you see this? It just goes like, boom, so when you let it go, it pushes the air up against it. Kind of a crappy valve, but whatever. So you jam it in there. And this thing is live, y'all, so I apologize. So, and then it's got a bunch of corners to uh, hold them in, even though it can't really go too much. But uh, it's just a, like a flatbed truck. If you ever seen it, they have that curve in it, so when you lay in it, it lays it flat. Let me zip this up because of mosquitoes. Or, uh, invading me home for the night another little knock on it one-way zippers you could have gave me two zippers but they do feel sturdy in their ykk yeah Give y'all a little walk around. This is it without the um, rain fly over it, which I'll show y'all in a little bit. Which I pretty much imagine in southeast Louisiana, year round we have mosquitoes. I maybe if in a place that don't, which I don't know where that exists down here, but uh, this totally comes off. And then another thing I like. It has these little vents, so when the wind comes, it goes under it, hopefully, and uh, on both sides. And let me show you all the pockets right quick. So they got a big pocket back here, like the shoes, a roll pocket, a cell phone pocket. Then on the other end, it's got the same thing. So it's got pockets for days, you know, storage, like put shoes in that one and cell phone and food in that one and then you can pick whatever way you want but I'm probably gonna pick that side since you want your head a little bit higher
So I got it all set up, rain fly and all. It looks pretty sweet. Let's see. Uh, let me get y'all a flip up here. Got my food, a water, my charging pack, got everything. So right now, I'm gonna set up my cook station. But I'm not quite hungry, so I'm gonna just chill in the tent for a little bit and wait till dark to cook my food. But that's kind of the plan, y'all. Get some water in me and relax. Because the sun's going down and the skeeter's about to come out. What up, y'all? Just relaxing and uh, wait for the sun to go down a little bit more for my uh, for my dinner. But uh, let's see some of the inside. Look, as you can see, I don't. I have an Eno hammock and I had a Grand Trunk hammock that I ruined, that it ripped. But uh, this has got to be the most like interior, uh, like storage, you know, because cell phone pocket, that pocket, this other pocket. And then the same exact things at your feet portion. And then another cool thing, the ridge line that I have my little O-light on. And it has a bunch of um, like toggles that you can hang stuff and slide it. So look. There's my feet in. Got my shoes on the bar. There's the other things. Storage, storage, storage. I don't think I have the pad all the way blown up. But, let me get this back. But, y'all, it's, uh, so far pretty comfortable. And, uh, it's about as flat as you're gonna get a hammock to lay. Oh, this is nice. Not hot, not cold. So, while I'm sitting here relaxing... It's got me thinking about uh, my ideal camping trip or some of the ones that I enjoy the most. And I gotta say, I really enjoy when I can have a camp catch and cook. Also, when I can do a river trip and maybe a little bit of fishing in it, you know what I mean? And, and camp on a sandbar somewhere, but I don't really get to do that that often because it takes a lot more logistics and uh, the time of the year in Louisiana when you want to do it the rivers are, are high because we generally get a boatload of rain and uh it's it can get dangerous on the rivers and and just having two cars or trying to figure out it you know i don't i don't get to do it as much as i want that that would be my idea whether it be on my paddle board or my kayak but hopefully uh this year me and michelle can get one in as it may be in may june and when it gets a little warmer before it's super super hot but um yeah let me know in the comments what what is your ultimate camping trip and and as y'all can tell as i'm filming this i really like the stealth camping gig you know but uh let me know um your ideal camping trip you know setting what you do whether it be rv and boondocking stealth camping paddling camping you know just let me know in the comments interaction is always fun all right y'all Another thing that y'all may or may not know, especially when y'all see these um, these Baton Rouge um, camping trips, I generally have work the next day, so I gotta wake up. I'm an early morning person. I generally wake up about 4.30, 4.45. But on these trips, right now I'm like 15 minutes from my hotel, so I wake up about four o'clock in the morning and then pack my stuff up and I got about a 10 minute walk back to my car and I get back to the hotel, go take a shower, and, um, you know, and start the day over. So, <laughs> yeah, the Baton Rouge little camping trips, you gotta wake up super early. Some people are still out by that time, but hey, it's, it's what I gotta do so I can get to enjoy my life after work, you know? Don't let it totally take over what you do or what you can't do. But yeah, just my two cents. So y'all, after relaxing for a little bit, 
and just listen to the waves crash and everything. I decided tonight's going to be an easy dinner. I'm just going to eat some chips and drink some water. I caught a real, real case of the lazies. But so far, I've heard some people and some sirens and stuff going on in the levee. But on the way in, they had some sort of party at the Capitol Park. So that's kind of be expected. But right now, just I hope at about 3 in the morning or 2 in the morning, I'm really good sleeping. I don't catch a train one honk his horn all that much and like Condi's doing now. But hopefully I'll be able to sleep through it. Otherwise, it's going to be a shitty night of sleep, y'all. And now I feel obligated to say it. Uh, this setup does not stick out like a dick on a fish. Certified. Look, check. Alrighty, y'all. This may be the last entry for tonight. It may not. I'll catch y'all later. Oh, one more question before I go to sleep, y'all. Uh, so this is kind of a backpack and stealth trip but i know i got some hammock camper subscribers out there i got my backpack just sitting sitting under uh under my hammock what do you uh, as a hammock camper what do you do with your backpack do you just kind of let it sit on the ground or what do you do you know that's kind of the big snafu with with hammock camping can y'all hear that train in the background Alrighty, good night, y'all. Well, y'all, it's that time to pick up. That dreaded time to wake up in the morning. Um, the hammock's nice. I will sleep again in it. Um, they had a barge that was lit up with blue lights like a Christmas tree. That parked not far out from where I'm at. And just kept gunning his engine. So he woke me up at about 1.30. And about... 2 2 30 but other than that i slept pretty good all righty y'all like comment subscribe and i'll catch on the next one gotta pick all this crap up all right y'all all packed up and it only took me about 15 minutes i didn't put everything back in a stuff sack but i'll handle that when i get home from work today yeah let me bush mac bushwhack my way out of here boy that's pretty y'all let me get a little closer to the capital Lit up and shining like a new nickel. I gotta get on this side to track y'all. I hit a horn honking. I mean the train honking. So don't get stuck. Now back to the car I go. One of my worst fears y'all with the stealth camping is uh, I hurry up and pack up like I did and you drop your keys or your phone and then have to come back. Or, knock on wood, um, you get back and your car is gone. But so far, so good. And I really don't have no reason to believe my car will be gone. I'm not illegally parked A. And B, they had other cars parked around me. Well, yeah, it was nice. Y'all got to see the recon of the trip and the trip. And uh, here comes Mr. Train. Choo choo. Oh, I just missed him, y'all. I would have been stuck on the other side. Man, it would have been nice. The hammock was comfortable to keep sleeping, but whatever. I got work today. Well, let me turn y'all off and I'll, I'll catch y'all back on when I get to the car. Oh, is that a beautiful thing to see? A 2012 Hyundai Tucson. You know what that means, y'all. It's time to get this backpack off. Also, it means my car is still here. Yay!
so y'all it's um it's about that time unless we get a cold snap and i'll put it back in my backpack that i switched from my 50 degree aegis max to um oh it feels good to get this off from my 50 degree aegis max to my um like a sleeping bag liner because last night i was sweating and i had to sleep on top of it or i unzipped it and kind of use it as a cover but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and another stealth camp in the books. Thank y'all for watching. So y'all, I'm getting ready for work and I realize <laughs> when I kind of hurry up because I heard the train, I forgot um my tree straps, but they were super short anyway. Today it's supposed to rain and be windy, so maybe tomorrow after work I'll go back in the woods and get them. But if not, I'm, I wanted to order me some longer ones anyway. But yeah, thank you. Don't rush when you pack up. <laughs>